Welcome to the OC Homestead again. So uh, a lot has happened since we last updated. Uh, we got the building moved in, right? We got the house. The house, the, the tiny house is, in, is on its pad. Uh, you can see it on this uh, the t quick time lapse that I'll have going right now. Um, shipping container. We, yeah, we got, did get the shipping container in also uh, and uh, stuff like that. And uh, uh, that was uh, that was kind of fun getting that in. That was probably that, I th think that probably took longer than getting the the tiny house in, which is kind of amazing. Tiny house didn't take long to get in. It was getting it leveled, putting the bricks underneath it, and getting it leveled by the bricks. Yeah, that was the hardest part. Yeah, that was the hardest part doing that, getting the it in. Um, shipping container was just getting around the curve <laughs> and getting it off. <laughs> yeah, get, getting it. Getting it around the cur the from the road into the driveway on a 40 foot flatbed with a 20 foot truck in front of it. That was pretty good. Um, and then uh, we uh, built some steps, uh, and uh, these steps uh, are not going anywhere anytime soon. And a nice uh, railing too. They put up a railing. Him and our son put, built the railing yesterday. Yeah. And got it going. And so now you have a way of grabbing hold of it and pulling yourself up yep and then our daughter and I did so much cocking that I think I got it out of my nails we'll yeah see. putting a, a silicone on all the the nail heads it's on the the exterior sheeting of the tiny house uh, because we want to try to prevent any water from ingressing into the into the sheeting into the interior of the tiny house um, we got electrical panels mounted right yep yeah. um, temporary power inside there right now but you know, next week we should have permanent power I permanent power on the side uh, at the at the exterior of the building uh to our main disconnect that we're going to be using to disconnect between both uh houses in the future so um the first house will be the hub yeah the first house yeah. is the hub and then in due time hopefully maybe six months eight months we might be ready to bring another one out here to get assembled for okay be pretty assembled but we assembled the inside of it <laughs> yep. for us to live out here so we can kind of get out of the city um no offense to where we're staying you know we've been there almost 20 years but being out here as much as we have now it's kind of like uh, i'm ready to be out here and uh just enjoy it just enjoy some Minus the dog here in the back in the background. <laughs> it is pretty peaceful out here. You hear little birds, cows, you know, creatures. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So we're using the shipping container for a uh, uh, storage and stuff like that. It, uh, if you haven't done that, if you if you have a homestead or working on a homestead and you don't have a shipping container, <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. I mean, it's like ready-made storage. You just slap onto the ground done uh, of course we have it setting on railroad ties um, I still got to level that out um, because I didn't know exactly how they were delivering it uh, and uh, when I got my railroad ties in I I actually already had it pre-leveled beforehand but I didn't realize that he'd have to back up all the way to the edge to drop it off so that uh, kind of lessons. We're learning yeah. lots and lots and lessons. So, Lesson learned. So if we get a second one, we'll know what to do next time. Same way with the the future cabin of the next one, we'll know what we need to do for that one. So yep, everything's yep. a learning process. Yep. We still got a few more trees we got to clean out. We we kind of determined we're going to do a circle drive. So hopefully in the future you'll be able to see us do that. Um, but um, the. Uh, uh, what else we got? Oh, we're gonna have to clear another acre of our two and a half acres at least um, Especially for the next tiny house that we bring in and uh, uh, For what we plan to do So there's more to come more to come Anything else? Nope, just tired, tired. She's tired <laughs> Anyhow, thank you for uh, watching and uh, uh, Checking out our videos. Pl please like this video. Give it a big thumbs up and uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here uh, so you can get updates as we, as we do them. And that notification bell, 
click that because you know if, if subscriptions don't mean anything, you got to get notified. Sorry, she's tired. I want to get her <laughs> home because she's tired. Anyhow, uh, that's all that we have for you today. Have a good one.